Hi, uh, this little video is going to show you how I put the rails on my trailer. Uh, worked very good and uh, hope you enjoy it. If you like it, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my other channels and enjoy the video. This shows the uh, front panel that I put on there. Yeah, I've got it all bolted in. I forgot this one corner so it's edged up a little bit. I forgot to countersink the deck there for the bolt underneath. But it shows all the bolts. Uh, it's kind of hard to get to the underside. And I had to tilt it all the way up in order to get those all them bolts in there. And uh, it was a little difficult, but it got all done. It's a little dark in there because it's cold outside and I had to keep the garage door shut. Here you can see where I had to jack up the uh, front of it. I uh, actually chained it to a stepladder. And uh, so it would stay up and I was able to crawl underneath. And I blocked the wheels with a bag of floor dry. And uh, we needed to keep that, keep it from sliding back. And you'll see here on the, uh, the back wall, that's the back part of the deck I'll be putting on. And then up there, that's all the rail lumber I've got ready to go. So once I get the decking on, I'll be able to do the, uh, do the rails. There's some more of the posts that I'll be putting on. And uh, there it is. You can see it. It's all set to go. Okay, this is where you can decide how kind of a box or rail you want to put on the top. And uh, this is really, really dark because it was the next day and it was uh, really cold out. So you can't really see anything. I should have probably just left this out. But yeah, that's the rail systems I put in there. This shows the uh, rails all put together. Uh, except for the corners, I have to bind those together. On the front here, I'll put in some really heavy duty uh, brackets that will hold them in there so it's well reinforced. On the back, I'll have some slip brackets so the back panel can be pulled up and down uh, fairly easy, but it'll also hold it in place. Here you can see it's all done. It's outside, they got some good light finally. And uh, it looks pretty good. You can see the brackets I had in the front there. This is the back. And uh... Yeah, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? It's a lot of work though. Yeah. Yeah, now I can go up north with all my stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's a neighbor lady. Here you can see them brackets. They reinforce the front, so the thing does break loose in there when I have to stop quick. That should hold whatever I'm going to put in here without any of a problem. So that's what it looks like. Uh, this will be the first time I'm going to try to put the back in after I have it all assembled and uh, see if my measurements are correct. And I can see that they're off a little bit. Mainly what it is is I didn't think about it, but when I put the, the post brackets on the trailer frame, uh, I didn't think to keep, you know, check to make sure they're all in line. But they were very, very close. And you'll see I have to pound a little, push a little bit. And it also turned out that where my, on the left top side there, looking at the back, that top rail actually warped a little bit, so the bottom actually came out and the top came in. That's why it's kind of sticky right there. And uh, after I, I took it out and I identified what I needed, the little sanding on the bottom post and on that side, you can see that left top corner doesn't quite lined up right. So right where I'm pointing there, I'm going to have to do a little sanding and then... Uh, It'll take care of itself there. After I did that, everything worked fine. This is the back with the uh, back rail in place. You can still see it's still misaligned on the left side there. 
So we decided we we're going to take it up north of Wisconsin uh, before we stain it. Uh, I wanted to run up and back a couple trips. I wanted to run it up load, loaded, fully loaded, and empty. And uh, everything went fine. And you can see I had to put I put a tarp on the top of it. And a little tricky way to do it. Actually, I brought the wrong size tarp. I have to find another one. I after we brought it back after a couple trips, I stained it. I used a, uh, a stain, a no-wipe stain. It's a new one. It takes a little longer for it to dry, but what's nice about it is you just you brush it on and you just leave it. Uh, but you need to have some dry weather. I got lucky. I had very warm weather and a low humidity, so it, it dried real well, covered very well. Uh, I've had it out in the rain a couple times since then. The water just beads up, so looks pretty good. And uh, I'm well satisfied with it. It uh, carries enough a load, and yeah, trailer's good. Like I said, there's plenty of room in it. Uh, it's four foot wide, eight foot long. It uh, looks good. Here we got it all set to next to the garage and ready to go. And like I said, it, either whether it's loaded or empty, a trailer is really good behind the vehicle. Very true. And finally, here we are. It's all set, ready to go. Well, that's how I put my trailer together. Put the rails on there. That's just my way of doing it. Uh, the way I put mine on there, in order to uh, fold a trailer up for winter storage, you're going to have to take the rails off. I don't plan on doing that anyhow, uh, but with these two foot uh, side rails on there, you can put a, quite a load in there and exceed the weight limit, of course, but uh, empty or full, this trailer trails behind the vehicle very, very good. It's surprisingly how much stuff you can get in there. Uh, the stain I put on there is a no wipe stain. Uh, I hate wiping off stain. I hate painting. But anyhow, this stuff took a couple days to dry. Uh, you'll need some uh, dry or low humidity and some, don't uh, don't let it dry in the sun or don't apply it in the sun. But it looks great, runs great. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna have other, uh, you can fix it or make it uh, topics coming up. And uh, please subscribe. And thanks for watching.